I'm Dr. Ramsey Amin. I'll speak with you today about um, specifics about replacing upper lateral incisors on the upper jaw. These teeth are the teeth just to the side of your upper front center teeth, the two located right there. They are a tooth that's very commonly replaced with a dental implant. In fact, it's actually a very common tooth to not be born with at all. This tooth is replaced with an implant quite easily through the immediate implant procedure. That would mean that you have your tooth already, uh, but it for some reason needs to be extracted, it's fractured, it's uh, broken, a root canal went bad. Uh, the tooth can be extracted and replaced on the same day. It's typically a very successful uh, tooth to do. Uh, from an anatomic standpoint, there's no real nerves in the area. The, uh, the main anatomy would be the, your nose, which is just right at the tip of the implant near the, where your tip of your root would be. And there's also like a depression in the jawbone just on the outside location of where this implant is typically placed. Bone can, can be really thin in this particular area. Typically, it's of good quality, meaning it's, it's generally dense enough but sometimes it can be very thin requiring a bone graft in order to rebuild the area or sometimes a gum graft if the gum is too thin. From a cosmetic standpoint this tooth is generally fairly easy to attain a good result. Um, the triang triangle of gum right next to the teeth on either side if you notice your teeth if you look in the mirror kind of has an arch shape from one tooth to the next the gum triangle from one tooth to the other is typically fairly easy to create as long as you have natural teeth on either side and those natural teeth are very healthy the bone in this area typically can heal within a two to four month period this implant goes pretty fast and it's very uh, simple to actually add a temporary on top of the tooth while it's healing, meaning you don't have to go around without a tooth or wear a removable device typically to replace the tooth. It does add some extra risk when you put a tooth on. That's called an immediate provisional or an immediate tooth. But that's different than an immediate replacement. That just means that the tooth is extracted and placed on the same day. An immediate tooth means that there's a tooth put on on the same day. Um, instead of having the typical, you know, two, three, six month healing that will go by for the implant to heal. The diameter of implants used in this area, typically on the small side, you prefer a smaller implant, somewhere 3.0, 3.5, 3.7 millimeter diameter is typically ideal unless you have an unusual space at all. But as long as the teeth on either side are in good condition, uh, it's a great tooth to replace. The most difficult situation in dentistry to replace would be if you had one of your center front teeth plus the lateral incisor missing at the same time. That combination can be very tricky to do and I suggest you see somebody very, very good about replacing that situation. Uh, one unique thing about the upper lateral incisors is that if you look closely at yourself in the mirror, you may notice that the two of them are different from each other. Unlike the central incisor, the two big front teeth here, the two lateral incisors can be very different in the way that they look. Uh, because they're spaced apart, it's almost a, na a natural asymmetry that has been created. And it's kind of neat to create teeth that are slightly different from each other when it comes to the lateral incisor, it gives it the appearance of a very natural, natural look. Uh, feel free to look around on my blog. There's many, many examples also on my website. I have restored many, many, many of these teeth over the last 10 to 11 years. Uh, if you have any questions, leave some comments below. There's no need to sign up at all. You can just go ahead and leave a comment or a question. I usually get back to those on a pretty timely basis. All right, look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye-bye.